While holding this, I'm going down. See, with the alt holding and just I'm just going up and down with my mouse. Not the scroll wheel, but just the mouse. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Wayne TV. Today I'm going to tell you how you can use MIDI in Cubase. It's a deep dive, but it's also beginner friendly. Let's go. Alrighty, so now we have our Cubase open. And as you already know, you can just add instruments by right clicking and clicking here to add an instrument. And now I already have two instruments here right now. Okay. And as you can see in front of it is what we have MIDI parts. They're called MIDI parts. Okay. It's basically just uh, notes and uh, MIDI information. And it's similar to, for example, like a staff, if you're a composer or a classical, um, a per, well, classical composer actually. But uh, yeah, so, and then each of these are selectable and there are separate parts, as I said. And if you want to add one, add one part, a new part, you can just double click and you will add new parts. And uh, if you want to add these parts in a, a specific, with a, within a specific duration, just select your um, duration handlebars, you know, the handles here, the left and right locators, and then just double click here. And as you can see, it has been added within the duration that you want. Pretty handy. Okay. And now if we want to uh, open them up, we can just double click. And once you double click, you get this little uh, panel down here, which is your MIDI editor, right? And I mean, just for you to know, you can also access your score editor by clicking down here. You can see it also in the screen. Yeah, you can. So you can just click here, score editor, and then it will go to your score editor, as you can see. Now let's go back. We're gonna go to the key editor. And now look at the, there was a fun thing here. If I select any of these, as you can see the, uh, the, the MIDI editor down there is also changing. So this basically uh, is attached to whatever you want to edit. Okay. Now, um, let, let's see, for example, I'm going to add, um, oh, now for you to know, actually, without adding, actually, I'm going to just delete this using backspace and also this one using backspace. And I'm going to use control C and I'll get my, uh, you know, the, the cursor down here, control V and I added this guy here. Now I'm going to show you something cool because now we're talking about parts. There's something cool in Cubase and that is called lanes and that is basically layers. So for example, if you're a composer, this is like adding extra staff to your score. So let's see. If I click on this guy, you will see that this is faded away and now you have lane one, which is telling us that, hey, Cubase will now play back from your lanes. And since this is our first lane, it just put the first uh, notes that we had here. Now it's in the lane section, lane one, okay? And if I just play back, it just plays it back, okay? And if I add another one, look, if I double click here, easily I can enter a new lane here. And the fun thing is that Cubase automatically adds an, another one for you. So you can add another one. So whatever, add, whatever um, part you add to a new lane, it will add uh, also a new lane for you. Okay, now let's try. I'm going to show you something super cool and also uh, cre very creative that you can do stuff in Cubase. Let's say um, I'm going. We are going to talk about uh, adding notes later, but just for you to know, you can use this draw thingy here or the button eight on your keyboard to draw notes here. And I'm going to draw notes. Okay. All right. Some pentatonic goodness. And now let's let's look here. We have two lanes here. And if I click away, look, these, both of these guys are looking sharp. They're not faded away, right? And that means that if I play back, you can, um, it, it, they will be performed at the same time. Let's listen. See, actually, maybe if it's too difficult, I'm just gonna 
and bring this down. Oops, sorry, yeah. I just transposed it using shift and down button. So you can shift and up and down. You can transpose them. Now let's hear it again. Okay, now I'm going to turn off my metronome as well because maybe it's a bit bothering us. All right, so now maybe you choose to not have one. You just click on this button down here. As you can see, it just goes, right? And look here also that you, you have these two at the same time here. It's showing you that, hey, uh, these two are added together. And if I click here, I can see it's not there anymore. So it's a really nice feature here. Now I'm gonna close it back. As you can see, one is a bit faded and one is still there. All right, super nice. And that was the lanes. Now let's go back and dive deep a bit into the MIDI functionality and uh, you know the MIDI, you know how to write stuff, how to delete stuff, and some other cool features here. Let's see. So what are we gonna do now is gonna be mostly about uh, mostly around here, okay? And that is our MIDI editor. And I'm going to start from the left here to tell you guys some interesting stuff. So remember when I said when you uh, click here, it changes. You can also say, hey, no, I just I want my editor to be stuck into one to be pinned here, which actually this pin is here. So this is going to be always here, no matter the thing, no matter whatever part you select, it's going to uh, just keep it here. It's really nice actually, actually if you are uh, focusing on um, editing one specific part. So it's really nice. But I'm going to re remove it. And there is also this solo thing here, which basically just solos your part. Right? It's pretty cool. Otherwise, it's going to play both of them. All right. Um, which is really clear. And then you have this uh, record in uh, editor, which I'm gonna cover in another video. Okay, it's, it has its own stuff to tell you guys. And just this one I'm gonna tell you uh, in this video, which is a really cool feature. Look, for example, uh, the tempo, we already have it in our mind, okay? Tick, tack, 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 okay. Now imagine you're just goofing around on your keyboard and you're like, Okay, now and then you're like, wow, that was a really co cool thing. And then your friend uh, asks you something and then you forget to record it or something. But Cubase has a nice feature. Look at here. I just clicked it. And now everything for the past few seconds that uh, was there is now being recorded here. It's really handy. And you can just play it back. And now you might say, well, yeah, what are the, why are they in this color? And that is because, remember that I told you about the parts, Cubase will only play your, the duration of your part. And of course, what we played now is written within this part, okay? But the duration that it's gonna play back it's, is smaller, okay? So it's limiting your playback. So I'm gonna just move these ahead and I'm gonna just grab this guy. As you can see, they're now being good, like the ch color is changing, and now... Right? Super nice. And uh, uh, I'm pretty sure this, this, is a, this is a feature that will come handy for you, but just check it out for yourself. Um, all right, let's, I'm gonna do some undoing here now, and let's go back to our editor here. Okay, let's see, uh, I'm gonna delete these. And as you saw in the beginning, I just double click to add something, right? And you might say, hey, how is it, uh, how does it work that they're adding 16 note here? Okay, because this is a, a this is a quarter. Each one of these, uh, you know, the, the uh, highlighted lines is one quarter. And you might say, hey, how is there, uh, how, how does this work? And because I'm just clicking here, and of course, if you drag it, it's gonna give you a bigger one, a bigger note in terms of duration. But then 
that goes, uh, the, the way we can see how this works is to go to our quantization options, okay? And we have a quantized preset here. Now, put your eyes on the uh, grids that I told you about the highlights, these guys. Put your eyes on it, and then I'm going to just change it to, for example, 1, 4. Did you see? Now the grids are gone, which it means that the quantization is now within this type of grid settings. So I'm just going to click here. You can see the default is now this. And if I want to make it smaller, Cubase won't let me because it's like, hey, this is the quantization of the setting that you want. If you want to make it smaller, you have to make this small. Oh, sorry. You have to uh, make it into a smaller grid and then you can just do whatever you want, which is uh, really handy and also quite fast to work with. But, but, but the magic actually comes here. This is quite uh, elementary, but if you are working with more fluid music or contemporary or classical music, you're probably not gonna write uh, like quarter notes a lot. You're gonna write, you know, combination of uh, very different um, note durations. And for that, you're gonna use Alt. The Alt key is the magic key here. So if I use, uh, if I just hold Alt here and you can see it's changing, it just automatically goes to pen. And then I just click here, wait, oh, sorry. I just click here and then I just increase the duration. See? And then there's also another fun thing, which I can, while holding this, I'm going down. See, with the alt holding and just I'm just going up and down with my mouse. Not the scroll wheel, but just the mouse. And it's quite fast to do stuff. For example, I can write a nice passage here. I'm gonna just make the quantization a bit smaller so I have more room. I just zoom in with control and uh, scroll. Okay, let's say I'm gonna write a nice thingy here. Okay. And then you might say, okay, I already wrote the um, notes, but I wanna change the dynamics. And the way to change dynamics, of course, the way I told you with the alt, that the dynamic was going up and down, but you can just use this thingy down here as well, right? Pretty cool. And you can just hold it or do whatever you wish. And by any chance, if you didn't see this controller lane, this is called the controller lane. I'm gonna actually remove it, remove this lane. If you click this plus button here, you have all of these as controller lane options. And I'm gonna click on velocity. And as you can see, you can change it. And you might say why there is a dot here. The dot means that there is options that are other than the default of the program, okay? So for example, if I do a uh, play probability, and if I modify something, and you're gonna see now that there's also a dot here. This is for you to know if you change something, okay? So I'm gonna just remove this for now. All right, and the last thing, last tip that I have for you guys is that of course you can use the right click here to uh, immediately switch within your tools. The other cool thing is that if you hold control here and then you do right click, you have a context menu, which you can use a lot of nice stuff. For example, let's say I'm gonna uh, select all of these guys, okay? And then right click with a control and I'm gonna go down here and you have these all, all these cool options in the function section. And I'm gonna say, hey, can you please reverse them? And voila, they are being reversed. And just the last thing, last, last thing I wanna tell you guys, because maybe you have a question about the color of this. This is because we add that, that uh, um, play probability thingy. And if I put them all at 100%, which it means that they're gonna play back 100% all the time. It's not gonna be that they're gonna not be uh, by played back by chance. So if I put this on 65, there will be a 65% chance, chance that this um, note C2 is gonna be played back 
within my playback. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to put everything on the default as it is now. And actually, that was it for today. I will be making a lot more Cubase videos. And if you liked it, you know what you do. Please don't forget to share, like, comment. And of course, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And till later, Humayun out.